Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jim in the morning. And in this video, guys, we're going to be reacting to um, Eurovision 2023. The This uh, thing is already up here, you know. Eurovision 2020. Yeah, we, we should call it 2023, right? So the national performance are already starting to come up. So there, I'm going to be checking out the uh, performance from Spain. Uh, this is uh, the national final performance of uh, Spain, uh, which is their official entry to Eurovision 2023, and the one who is going uh, last time we had Chanel, I guess, and her slow mo song, uh, uh, we like had it. So this time we have Blanca Paloma, and her song name is called E E. That's how we say it. E A E A E. So <laughs> let's see what kind of. Uh, song it is gonna be and is it gonna live up to the fate you know uh, live up to the legacy of chanel because she was amazing because she had she had everything on the stage and i'm like oh, I'm like, i was like a total fan uh so let's go before that guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe uh, uh and uh share this video to more fans out there more blanca fans out there more spanish fans out there so more people can come and watch this and hopefully subscribe uh if you guys have not checked out my reaction to more eurovision a reaction of 2022 that i reacted to i react to a lot of 2022 performance and i've saved everything in my uh uh, Eurovision playlist link in the description below. You guys can find it in the i button over here. And if you can follow me on Instagram, my Instagram has right over here. So you can follow me over there. And uh, yeah, now that in delay, guys, let's just get this reaction. Whoa, it's definitely not gonna be kind of similar like a genre of what Chanel did. Right, Chanel was very pop pop. And it seems like it's going to be very, like, you know, different. Whoa. What is the inside? Okay, this seems like thread. There's so many riffs and runs, okay? It's totally a different, different kind of what Chanel presented us. And both are very good. And her vocals, agility and stability is just insane. And there's a lot of production that has been, you know, like put like in the whole stage presence thing. There's a lot of production that I see. And her outfit is kind of, wow, cute maybe? Okay, so it's we don't pronounce that a a yeah. I guess the song is pronounced a yeah, right? That because that's what she said right now when she was singing. Yeah. 
Wow. I wonder what the song is about. Wait, so she's not, it is just not her, right? Because I see that these dancers are also singing and providing that backing vocals feel, right? And without that, I think the song is incomplete. So it's not just Blanca Paloma. Yeah, she's also, she's also the one who's singing over here. Love that, love that, love how she ended that. Like it was a it was a long ass note, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was just like that. Alright guys, that was actually really different. You know, not the kind of a song that I usually listen to, but uh, damn it was very different and uh i have to say i liked it i liked it and uh, let me know guys what did you think about this this is the winning national winning performance and i guess this the, it was the final yesterday uh last night uh in spain so she was selected and she's gonna be the official and she is the official entry to the eurovision because the eurovision channel posted it and that's how i got to know about it but there were a few comments which suggested me that i should also check this one out so yeah guys let me know in the comment section uh for now please leave a like leave a comment subscribe and share and i'll meet you guys in the next reaction video Bye.